What is up, YouTube? Boy, it is sunny and hot in Texas today. The pool's looking nice and blue. Got a cool package uh, from Battery Hookup. These are neat. Let's check it out here. I've already been in it, but this is this is going to be like a <laughs> a fake um, unboxing. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, look, check it out. We got something from Battery Hookup. Check out these sales. Those are cool. So they got like a package deal. Eight of these sales for like, I don't know, 220 bucks or something like that. These are, let's see. What? 55 amp hour. 6280 cells. So they're 60 millimeter by 280 millimeter. Lithium iron phosphate. They're supposed to be brand new. I think they got them in pre built packs and they were just stored. I don't know. Um, I'm going to build a pack with them on this battery. There is a, like a plated nickel side. And then there is an aluminum side. And I'm assuming that's because like either the anode or the cathode, I don't know which one uses copper and the other one uses aluminum. But it's pretty important in my opinion, and this is probably the reason why it came like this, is to you it came with a, an aluminum nut and this one is i'm assuming is mm, some kind of plated nut i don't know if it's copper or whatnot but the plated nut's going to go of course on the copper plated side and the aluminum nut's going to go on the other side why do you want to do that well because if you understand anything about corrosion galvanic corrosion You'll know that dissimilar metals will cause galvanic corrosion. So when they are, if there's a different kind of metal touching another kind of metal and there's any kind of moisture in the air, it'll get between there and the galvanic corrosion process will occur. And what that'll do is it'll strip, uh, m you know, um, particles from one side from one metal and, and and try to deposit it on the other and it just eats it up it eats it'll eat one side up and then deposit whatever it ate up uh, onto the other metal the other thing is when I got these cells these these terminals were a little nasty like they they had debris uh, they had some debris in them and I don't know where that was from I don't know if they had some kind of um, paste or something, I don't know. But when I tr tried to sc screw these uh, nuts that it came on, came with on initially, they were binding up and you don't want that to, to occur because if you start to feel some resistance when you're tightening these down, that means you're about to strip these and, or you're gonna somehow cross thread it. And you don't want that to occur because when that occurs, this cell, it's pretty much screwed, but that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna set you up and build this thing up. Let me see if I adjust this.
got charge in. There we go. These are these are staying fairly balanced. I don't have a balancer or anything going here. I just got the balance leads. Uh, just wire wrapped around the, the nut right now. Don't judge. This is just temporary. But uh, it's nice and sunny. There's 900 watts of solar running into this thing. Let's see what uh, we're charging at. P we're getting uh, 20 amps from the PV. Uh, 22.2 amps going into the battery. Right, so it's about midday. It is ex exactly midday. So we'll come back to do the discharge test. All right, guys. This has been a long time to get this thing, but we're we're gonna finally pull a capacity test. I let it charge up on the solar. Um, there were a couple cells that weren't super balanced with the rest of them, and I did wire them all up in parallel and let them balance over a couple days, which I didn't show you in the video, but I did do that. But uh, I, guess, I guess that didn't get them uh, very well balanced. I didn't actually apply a a balanced voltage to them so that's probably why but I uh, let them charge up and uh, there were a couple like I said that were uh, out of balance it's probably about 180 so millivolts out of balance and uh, well I wanted to get them in balance and hooked my balance charger up to it and it had a hard time trying to get them in balance and then I broke out the Helltech and uh, I know you guys have seen me ranting and raving about that and well, it got them in balance. So right now they are about 2930 millivolts out of balance. So I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just ready to do a capacity test on this and whatnot. So that's what we're gonna do. And without further ado, I'm gonna turn on the inverter and I'm gonna try to pull one C. Looks like we've got 30 amps right now. So I've got to connect something else. This is going to be loud. Uh, so I've got a fan and a heater. Maybe I can turn the heater up. Yeah, I can turn the heater up. So that shot us over a little. Let me unplug the fan. Uh, so it's slightly over a 1C. These are 55 amp hour batteries. Let me try to see what that does. So that's, I don't know if I can get right at 55. Let's see what the fan does. Tell you what, that's close enough for me. We've pulled 1,246 watt-hours and 49.6 amp-hours. So we're getting real close. I just went ahead and turned that fan off because it was driving me crazy, so the current dropped a little bit. Let's see where we're at. Look at that. We're almost at 57 amp hours, so these are past their rated capacity. Uh, no cell has reached 2.5 yet. We're still at uh, 2.7. One cell dip into 2.6. Okay, one cell hit 2.5, so I killed the test there. Let's see what we got. 58 amp hours. 1,445 watt hours. So uh, these cells are exceeding their rated uh, capacity of 55 amp hours. So they're actually reaching 58 amp hours. That's uh, fantastic. I'm very pleased with this. So that was uh, a long time coming actually. For me, you guys won't know that, but 
I went through uh, several days of charging and uh, dealing with the other things that we have to deal with in life. Uh, but yeah, 58.023 amp hours and 1,445 watt hours. Let's take a look at the, um, so they've recovered. Uh, this cell number one was the one that hit 2.5 and the second that it, I saw it dip to like 2.49 and I killed the test. Uh, I had the Helltech balancer in the whole time. Uh, so I don't know if that uh, made any difference. But there you have it. These cells rock, man. Um, get you some while they last. See you guys next video.